<laughs> by, said. This is going to be seen by tens. Yeah. <laughs> by, seen by <laughs> tens. of people. Hi, people. Welcome to uh, another episode of True North Losers. Uh, Nick's right behind me. I'm Rainy. And we got special guests this trip. <laughs> this is my uh, brother, Leo. That's his son, Josh. Here's my buddy Nick. I had uh, I told you it was Josh, but this is Nick here. Listen, we're on Fall Lake, uh, landing spot number 24. We're with a million other people here. I turned the camera around, but none of them signed waivers to be on video. Uh, today is July 28th, 2022. Uh, so this is going to be our kind of our first peak heat part of uh, trip, and we're hoping it goes good. This will be uh, four days, three nights, and we hope you enjoy the show. Is that a real rain cover, that orange thing? Yes. That's sweet. I like that. It was a full ten dollars on Amazon. <laughs> that was an Amazon thing? Yep. That's a good buy right there. Perfect. You guys aren't half the rubes I thought you were gonna be. <laughs> kind of disappointed. <laughs> I am a little disappointed. Uh, I was hoping for some hoping for some good uh, blooper type uh, video here. Oh, I love that rain cover. Uh, the, I so I just learned place. something at the start of the trip. I'm buying one of those. Yeah, I think I think yeah. hindsight, I would have got one size bigger. All right. Uh, yeah. So well, send me a link after of what covering? the size you got was, and then I'll look them okay. look them up. Great, no. great idea. Yeah. Off, off and on, very easy. Hi people, coming into the first portage here. Look at this portage. It's like a groomed trail. I have no idea if it's going to be this way the whole time, but if it is, it's perfect. Who do you want it? Uh, Go by, up by ours. Yeah, up by ours. <laughs> I did say 20. <laughs> My God, I've never seen one this nice. I'm telling you now, do not get used to this. I need to read. There's no sharp rock. This is like a highway. I know. God, I've already been telling these guys, you're going to be climbing Mount Everest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the sunshine. Yeah, you sure you can handle this in the truth? <laughs> All right, people, this is, uh, we're walking back for pass two on Portage One. Unfortunately, our guests were spoiled on their first Portage. Look at this. It's basically a walk in, a walk in some downtown park. So, uh, yeah, some other trip, we'll make sure they get over some boulders and logs and fight off wild animals. Brady's gonna go ahead and, oh, let me check this Portage out first. Yeah. No, nope. we hear. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> there, that's better. I think this is a very good initiation. Get you, yeah, walk in slowly. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I like being thrown in the deep end. <laughs> well, yeah, what you're not paying the price for in portage uh, uh, obstacles, uh, you'll make up for in mileage, I think. You'll make up for in mileage today, so. Especially the way we steer. Hopefully we get a couple <laughs> of shoulder muscles fall off by the time we get to, right. to camp. Yeah, it just takes away from the ambiance. Treaded tire tracks on the portage. You know what I'm saying? Are, are we in the wilderness or not? Somebody pretend it's a mountain bike. <laughs> yeah. Someone comes, what is this? <laughs> One of those fat tires. Okay. 
so people, this is what we're portaging past. This is a beautiful, it's going to be called the falls, but basically, you know, a slow drop river here, tumbling over rocks. Gosh, I did it again. Did you get? I slipped on the same thing. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> God. The shoes are not gripping the rocks at all. I'm not going anywhere else. I'm staying here. <laughs> Nick. <laughs> oh, gosh. Sorry. Look at the sunshine, people. Look at it. Sorry, Nick. That was me. Call me. Hard to believe you get blown around on this thing. All right, where to, Nicholas? Follow the right, all right. But uh, I would like to go into the wind a little bit. All right, you steer us, I'll paddle. All right, viewers and family, we're uh, done with the first portage, heading up north on Fall Lake. I've got 954, hour one is done. Uh, we're hoping that the outside Time of paddling or total travel, I guess, is about seven hours today. So we got one more portage to go, and it shouldn't be too far away. You can see we got a little wind out here. Nick is going to put us a little bit more into the waves, which is always the best thing to do when canoeing. And we're going to hope that uh, my little brother and my nephew don't swim across this lake rather than paddle across. you know at some point boys hey people you would think after this amount of time we've been on the lake for days and days and now I'm just featuring video where it's raining and now it finally started raining we're still on our way out Probably a quarter of ten, ten o'clock, who knows. So I'm facing the camera away from the rain so it doesn't get all splotchy.
<laughs> Good job, Lyle. <laughs> Well, Nick and I were just talking. This isn't a quarter as busy as far as notice boats compared to Memorial Weekend. noise at all but it's just a perfect time right now a little bit Gorgeous out here. I know you've heard me say that a million times. And if you were <laughs> if you were here, the GoPro doesn't quite get the close-up that the human eye sees. Everything is just perfectly lush and green. The temperature is really, really comfortable. We're in tees under our life vest. And because we're rowing, we stay plenty warm. Just really, really nice right now. Second portage. Everyone's doing good. Speak for yourself. <laughs> I'm feeling a little tinkling out here. That's me. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna run the routine again. Thank God, a little narrower path. Hopefully <laughs> there's more obstacles for our guests to stumble over. Unlike the princess portage we had last time. All right, we'll carry you along with us. A little rougher this time. Yeah. Still the path. Path is all right, but we're getting tinkled on. So it's a light rain. Most of us are deciding to skip the rain gear. Alright, so you see the gang here. This is what we portaged. I don't know how well it's going to come through on the GoPro there, Sophie. But it is just a beautiful bypass river here. We got very, very light rain. The temperature is perfect for what we're doing. Left foot first, yep. Not, not the right one. And go right to the seat. Come on, that's funny. That's funny, I know, I'm laughing. That's right, right to the seat, then you worry about the other leg. That's this perfect. Is the most fun I've had in my entire life. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, people, we're done with our second portage. Now we got a lot of rowing to do. The day opened right back up again. A little bit ago, you saw us walking in the rain on the portage. At least on one pass, and I think on the next pass with the canoe, you saw us in sunshine. So just a little bit of a testament to how fast weather can change around here. And once again, we're back to relative calm with some sun punching through. Mosquitoes are out though. I think that's a new update. I got all sorts of bites on me already. I don't know if getting older you tend to notice the bite less or not, but uh, maybe that's a good thing. Did you say hi to Sophie yet? Yeah. Go ahead. And you're on T-Mobile? Yeah. That means I should have the same damn thing. Yeah. And your phone's new enough, so it might get 5G. That'd be a little bit of a shame. I mean, we're either in the bush or we're not in the bush, Nick. Yeah. You know, the other discharge one is if it's dirty water. Gotcha. How you doing, people? It's gorgeous out here now. A few minutes ago, I was ready to pack up and leave 
not really. Let's catch Nicholas here. This is just perfect. You know, it cycles between sunny and crap. And right now we're in the crap. But the boys, we got our tent set up, which was a priority. Nick has got us set up with a tarp here. Josh has us set up with a tarp here for gear. Now, no one's going in the woods to get firewood yet, which I'm a little disappointed in all of you. Chair fabrication? Are you going to go dig a hole? You're going to dig a path for water to run? Yeah. Who's sinking here? Civil engineer, Nick Gotti. That's your pillow? No, oh, that's a headrest. No, no, it's for nighttime when you sleep. Yes, good thinking. So edit that part out, Sophie. I apologize for that. That was uh, play that part on repeat. A mental, yeah, a mental lapse. But yeah, we're looking, we're looking at rain for a while. Nick dug us a little uh, water deviation trench. Look at that. We're going to dam it up on the end, get uh, some hydroelectric going. I should be able to use my filter on that. <laughs> ah, let's see where your filter, <laughs> smart Alec. <laughs> so, quick tour. Sun came back out again. We've had a lot of rain. We've got the main tarp here. This is Nicholas's work. And Josh and Leo set up a separate tarp. We got our gear underneath there. A little more room. There's our lake. There's our fire pit.
I think that's too wet. It just feels like it's swelling up, binding, <clears throat> binding the saw. This tree might be okay. Most of it is up off the ground. So uh, I'm going to try to put a cut through here. people let's do a few uh, few cuts here oh my gosh that's punky that's punky all the way in I sunk halfway into that all right we're gonna keep looking I don't know maybe I did a cut over there it's got some dry inside I'm going to do another test cut here. Punky on the outside, but it cuts like it's dry on the inside. dry wood in there. I'm going to lop off some of these handles, bring it to camp and see what they say. Go about 10 inch pieces, Lyle. How close am I? All right. Good. Leo and Josh and Nick, I presume, found some potential dry wood. Well, it's, it looks like dry wood. We'll have a fire tonight. Roast up our meat. Hoping this is it for weather now. That's pretty sweet action right there. So I wanted to show you. Uh, I just filtered up some of mine. Again, it's purely a sterilizer mm -hmm. uh, for single cell organisms. It does no particle filtration or anything like that. In fact, there could be live large bugs in here, uh, which are not harmful to me, and it's just a squeamish thing. Now I'm going to show you the water out of Josh and Leo's uh, inline filtration pump. Look how clear. Their water is down at the bottom of this one. I, I hope you're getting the... Are you kidding me? It's starting to rain again. Huh. All right, I'm going to try to keep my cherub-like demeanor. And uh, But yeah, this is kind of cool. Uh, how good some of these filters uh, can, can clear the, the mineral color out of the water. All right, people. Well, I hope he gets the chair on it. <laughs> oh, look at this rowdy group right here. We're living through light rain again, people. This is first day yet. I got to show uh, show off my new uh, coffee thermos. I'll probably lose every subscriber and viewer that ever looked. <laughs> Check that thing out. This was a gift from a uh, husband of a friend at work. This is from Dave. It's fantastic. Made some tea. Hot! Yes. <laughs> I mean, you aren't. They did specifically tell me Leo was not allowed to have gas ones. Nicholas, I've got some good shavings in there. Right.
we light it on the paper? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uncle Leo is shaving a magnesium bar that has a ferro rod on the opposite side. So shaved magnesium, highly, <coughs> highly combustible. We've already did a test burn that we made sure not to get on camera. Yep, good, good grab, good grab. Where do you want me to put this one? Let's put it right next. Well, to hold me. off till Nick's ready. Just hang Very on to good. it for now. Yep. I'll just keep grinding it up. <laughs> All right, don't set it on there. Yeah. So we're gonna pour some shavings. I don't know where to put this. Where we'll. <laughs> well, we'll just. This isn't really gonna do anything, but. Oh, we. It'll have... sparkle up once the fire hits the individual grains. Okay, we got some magnesium powder in there. Watch the grate just go flying. Yeah. Just kidding. I think I'd have to scrape a little longer. Can we pour some water on it? Nick is using his custom matches. As we'll show. There you go. Now don't let your hand on that magnesium. Yeah, I know that's what I'm thinking. Oh yeah. Just like crack. Oh, come on. That was an awkward moment. I just wanted to say that. Dory felt it too. <laughs> There's your magnesium. There's your magnesium. <laughs> that was a fast. God, that's great. Son of a gun. Recording? Bleep, 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 bleep. <laughs> I thought I'd bleep them out for you, Sophie. We got a can of beans. Did you puncture the can? Yeah, the top. Oh, no. Yeah. Was I I'm no, you know, culinary expert, but uh, an exploding can of beans is like shrapnel. <laughs> 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 Make sure you get that on video. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> it just sits and burns forever. It's like a like, hot oil spray. It's like napalm without the fire. All right, um, you may have to hit her harder with wood. You're, it's your call, but uh, he's not here to tell you what to do. No, I'm definitely just saying. Not. Sunset. <laughs> All right, never mind. Yeah, put it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Put it wherever. Yeah. We have we have that spatula. Yeah, Wait, not there. Uh, put it wherever. No, not there. Uh, <laughs> oh, right. he's toasting his buns. Yeah. <laughs> All right, people. I just want to keep my. Going to show you what's on the, the menu fire. for tonight. Oh, that's a, I'm gonna melt my. We got burgers <laughs> and brats. Burgers are for Leo and Josh, and the brats are me and Nick. And you see Leo's going to do a classic bun toast here. Well, don't look now, people, but uh, we're having ourselves supper. I looked immediately and he said that. <laughs> <laughs> he said don't. After all that rain, three burgers left in the grill. Leo and Josh did themselves proud. We can uh, switch right hand, left hand on the crank if you like. I'm a lefty. Yeah, it works. And I'll tell you, I learned to be a lefty because I used Dennis's when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah. His uh, his spinning reel. I thought this is awkward, but then I got so used to it, I've never gone back. No, 
I, d- I didn't even notice in all honesty. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, that, yeah, that's how I do it. I, I figure I'm going to strike with the strong hand and reel with the left. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I shoot lefty to bat lefty. Yeah, same difference. Yeah. Do most things righty. I'd love to see one of you guys lay into a fat pig. That'd be great. You mean, you mean, hey, I'd want to see you. You mean like a real pig? Yeah, that was pretty aggressive on that one. Thank you. Just a little tip, you know, and, and basically you're going to judge it by watching your bobber. Now your bobber's really crooked, which means you're coming up shallow. Gotcha. Just bring it in. And then I'll... Yeah, I, I, I would probably maybe uh, bring in a foot and a half. That little red stopper, yeah. foot and a half when you see it come come up there. Do I wait for it to get down? You can here? if you like. Okay. Yeah, you can go in between the eyelets Uh-oh. as best you can. Uh-oh. What happened there? What do you think? Are you snagged? Yes. Yes, I am. We might be pulling the canoe out. I'm not losing a freaking bobber. <laughs> Sophie can edit this out, but I'm pretty sure I don't even see you. Yeah. Even that distance is pretty far, Loyal. You can stop. Ross, but he was just right there. Yeah, oh no, he's still breaking the surface. This isn't up. I know, is that a rock? That one's a rock. There was a guy right next to him. Oh. Never mind. False alarm. Yeah, we lost Josh. All right. Uh, we're getting to the, uh, to the end of night one. We had a great meal. There was burgers. You saw it. We had brats. In fact, our guests have eaten better than we ever have. Mm-hmm. Nick and I are going to be talking about, we're not going to share in front of you guys, but we're going to be talking about the food that you brought and whether uh, whether or not uh, we revise our menu options. Uh, we tend to be a little more survivalist, <laughs> whereas uh, you guys are kind of like Chef Boyardee. But... I'm impressed. You packed it, you humped it through the portages, and that's everything. Because once you get to camp, it's going to get consumed. So I, I was very impressed. So anyway, we're going to kick back, shoot the bull for a while. I hope you like the festoon lights. Uh, Nick brought those again. Brings a little bit of home to camp. We're hoping that the rain is done. Right now, it's very quiet, very peaceful. We actually don't have a lot of woods noise at at this point. Um, lake traffic today, as far as people, definitely saw people uh, on our first portage, probably the most on our first portage. Second portage, less people there. Nothing like the traffic we had over Memorial Weekend. Um and then just an occasional passerby on the lake here. Leo tried to give a Tarzan call to see if anyone would respond. And yeah, the choppers aren't coming in, so I think we're okay there. So tomorrow, yeah, we'll uh, it'll be get up, breakfast. Tomorrow's forecast is looking great. We're going to be in the 70s. Rumor has it... Uh, Forecast has it, uh, probably no rain. So we kind of had it pretty wet today. The ground is soggy here, and some of our crap is a little bit wet, but nothing critical. The The tents are up. We're all good. We're going to sleep just fine tonight, but we'll have to do some drying out. Mosquitoes are out in pretty good force. I wish they would kind of cling around the lights up there like moths, but... Uh, no such luck. We actually, I mean, you saw it. We actually had a fire. I couldn't believe it. Uh, there was really a decent amount of rain. But you get to the core of the wood and you're good. So try to get some. We did a little shore fishing tonight. You might have saw that if Sophie included some of that. No hits. I think we had a, I think we had a small strike with Josh. But uh, now we're going to kick back for a little bit. 
let the sun set a little more. The coast, or I should say the, the shoreline that we're on, is east-facing. And so we should have a gorgeous sunrise tomorrow morning into camp. And uh, we'll take our time, show you breakfast. Then we'll gather our gather our thoughts, hit the water, and try to start catching some fish for fish dinner. So no fish today, and uh, we'll definitely try to get you fish tomorrow. And uh, so we'll sign off for that. We'll stay up a little bit more, and then uh, at least Nick and I will talk to the camera in the tent just before bed. All right. Folks, hey family, it's night one. We are in the tent. It's a miracle we're not soaked. Yeah, really, it was uh, Nick worked the tarp through the rain I found a window to get the tent set up and we set it up on wet ground but we got the footprint underneath and we're all good he's up on his cot so oh, it yeah. won't matter if a river flows underneath him and <laughs> no, I'll be fine my pads my pads good so uh, we got the other boys uh, 20 feet away from us and uh, they bought the same tent I think a recent upgrade but uh, Anyway, we uh, were done with day one. We Nick uh, did the calculations, and we rode overall ten miles. Uh, we we ended up staying a little short of uh, what we thought we were going to go, even though we kind of took a peek up there, and and then we came back. But uh, we made great time for the distance we covered. So anyway, we'll uh, sign off now and. Uh, We'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Good morning. Day two. Actually, it feels better like this. So it's going to be a great day. It's perfectly blue skies. Just a little chill in the morning, so we'll shed this jacket in a little while. I'm going to start with coffee. And then we'll get on to food. Josh is right here over my shoulder. Come on. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> I hope you make a better seal this time. Come on now. Good sign, Josh. It doesn't sound good. Is it coming out the top? Or? Yeah. Well, you could at least light it. <laughs> could that explain it? That could, you know, that, that could might do it. Oh, yeah, because I ran out of gas yesterday. Oh, so why so turn it off? Assumed it was off. Well, you learn something new every day. All right, we'll get this rolling, and then we'll show you a little breakfast making. This is uh, Josh's stove here, MSR with an integrated pot. He's pulling out the waterproof matches. All right, we're going to let him cook. Morning, little brother. Luton Morgan. You get that thing fired up? Yeah, I did. It's, it's off now. Okay. Did it boil fast? Or did I... 
I didn't quite let it boil, but yeah, it was. God, it was steam. It seemed like in 30 <laughs> seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Freaking see through. All right. <laughs> That's good enough there. Um, if you want some oatmeal, I have it. All right. Thank oh. you. I got a leg cramp last night. Oh. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, that blows. Even this morning, getting out of the tent, both my calves. Uh, oh boy. I don't know if I want you to. Yeah. Now you got a little little omelet fixing? Yep. Nice. Yeah, it's got basically scrambled eggs with this, yep. It works, uh... It works. I don't spend the time on it for the last day. I'll do a, I'll do a dehydrated on the last day, because we're mainly packing up and going. But mm. uh, for the first two days, it's pretty nice. Oh, that's interesting, Josh. Little tortilla with PB and J. Mm -hmm. Glad I'm capturing half your crap on film so I can think about it for a future trip. Are people scrambled eggs and sausage and onion I see third degree burns coming in <laughs> <laughs> How'd you like your tent? It's good. Uh, it's good. How'd you like to picture three people in it? I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe three little kids. Yeah, I don't quite understand how they come up with it. There's another motorboat. Where are they putting it? <laughs> This a no wake zone. Jesus <laughs> Christ. What would Clouseau say? Not any more. Not any more. Is your dog bait? That is not my dog. You're oh. spilling all sorts of oh, stuff and wow. making everyone angry. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I'm pretty pissed at you, man. <laughs> and putting it on a dirty ground. <laughs> ah, that's great. There's your chipmunk back. Yeah, we heard him running around our tent last night. Really? Yeah, or, or, uh, or one of them. All right. So, Nicholas, find us about 20 feet of water, 20 to 25 feet of water, once we get close. Sitting at about 20 to 18 feet right here. We could try something like this. All right, boys, take your time, rig up. Uh, I'm going to recommend get rid of the bobber. 
and the bead put them in your tackle stay uh you know keep keep good organization there we're an 18 to 20 you know kind of deep for those size jig heads but it's cheap if you want to put it right back on tip it once again half a crawler uh we can get you some leeches in fact i should let's belly up i, I should give you a few leeches because we really should do multiple presentations you know what i mean yeah and then i would say cripe once an hour just refresh the water a little bit they generally stay towards the bottom of the cup okay and Older. a lot of them will suck to the bottom of the cup yeah i haven't even refreshed this one yet either You got some tiny ones in there too and they'll suck to your finger it's <laughs> look at that six or seven. <laughs> just dangle your fingers in there they'll come out. yeah they will in fact that's not a bad way to bait them because they're wiggly as hell when you try to stab a hook but if you let them just take a moment to latch they won't go deep on your finger that's enough for now you run out of bait we'll hook back up yeah i'm gonna refresh this too don't lose your leeches. I know it. What the hell did I do here? What a ghost town. All right, well, I got work to do, but... Um, uh, All right, you're telling me go to the big guys? I think I think a big guy. I don't, you know, and, and just pick a color. And we're all going to talk to each other. If we start hitting, we're going to indicate what we got on. Um, and again, to tie it on, Go through and then turn the jig like five times and then take the loose end and come back through the gap in the loop at the bottom, right above the metal ring. And, you know, it's a little unwieldy, but you grab that, grab the strong line, wet it in your mouth, and then pull it down and then grab the hook and, and then carefully snug it up. And you'll see she snugs up. And you might have a little bit of bendy uh, at the final line then clip off the extra leaving no more than like a 16th around a 16th of an inch little tail sure. and you'll be fine that's how you tie it on you feel good about that instruction yeah all right sure. i'm going to be testing you shortly that's good i'm going to start fishing with this really what is it the it's ron pope peel pumping. pocket fisherman it's oh water. pumping <laughs> time for water resupply yeah that's what we're out here for right so we're gonna now. yeah do your thing and we'll all be within yelling distance I think I'm still taping, Nick. Oh, good. This was all yep. good fodder here, and I don't. Was there any cursing? No, I don't think so. Not this time. <laughs> all right, we'll pause. Fish on, woman. Hey, we got. What the? <laughs> I don't know what we got. It looks like a white bass. A white bass. No teeth. Yeah, check that thing. Is that a rock? You think that's a rock bass? I got no Alright people, those of you online, take a good look, see at that. Now if I'm good, I won't lose. And you know, that's really the, the proper question, right? If I'm good, and I, I think we all know the answer to that. No. Yeah, you got that right. <laughs> you got that right, Chief. I wanted my... Oh, yeah, that's what I want. A hemostat. Don't worry, I'll have them in the water soon. For those of you fans out there worried about the fish, this one's going to live. That was weird. All right, he's going back in. And he swam away. We got wallage. Nice. We got wallage, dude. I'm going to throw him back to you. Yep. In the boat. 
It's about your size. If about you want, just leave them on your, uh, just leave them on your hook and throw them back to you. Yeah. Thank you. You're okay. There we go, people. Fish two. Thanks, Nick. Yeah, for sure. All right, fish on, people. This one's got a little. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we got a little mass here, people. I don't think that's a walleye, dude. I'm not sure. I think it's a sturgeon. Urgent <laughs> people, we got ourselves a fish here. I'm saying fight. Yeah, that's yeah. a little. Let them tire out a little bit. Was a laker. Oh my, that would be awesome. You know, it could potentially. This far out, this is weird for northern, but they'll do it. They'll go deep. People, we got ourselves a fish. This thing has no intent. What the frick? Bryce, look at That's that northern. Big one. That's a good one. Look at that. You guys getting that? All right, I'm getting the plier. I'm going to do the best I can. Jeez. All right. I'm going to try to do a. That's about a 20, 24. Yeah, that, that'll go 24, Nick. I think he jumped it like 80 inches now. Oh, that's right. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, we lost her. That's fine. That was a fun. That was that's a fun that was catch. Cool. Fish on, people. This one's, uh, if it's a Wally, we got a nice Wally. What's going on here? Don't be another Northern. It's a, it's a good size fish, Nick. Whatever yeah. it is. Oh, frickin' northern. We got a northern people. People, we'll, uh, we're gonna try again on the plier. I think the hook set is a lot nicer on this one. Look at that. I got I got access there. That's another 24. Yeah, but it's thinner, don't you think? Am I am I reading into it too much? I think you are. Alright. Oh, are you kidding me? That was on video, on? dude. <laughs> Some interesting. Oh my god. <laughs> Nick. 
Forget about 3,000 views. We're going to be at a thousand. <laughs> I hope that aerial. She could oh, do slow mo on that. That's all I've been thinking about. I think I got it good. Yeah. Sophie's going to go nuts when she sees that. I hope so. All right, we're going to sign off for a little bit. I'll read bait up. I hope you enjoyed that catch. Uh, you can you can put your thumb in his lower lip and yep. pick him right out of there. Mind the hook. That's right. Lyle, who's the champ? Not me. I'm going to fucking grab that boat. Remember Ben Hur? No, that's all right. We'll stay off. We'll stay off. You got an iPhone? Quick, get your own. No. I got decent video here. You want your fish, Dad? No. You want to kiss it? No. <laughs> you want to? You want to kiss it? You want to hold it at all? No. Okay. Good work. Oh, sorry. Let me tell you how I did that. Yes. Drop. <laughs> Drop. <laughs> oh, I think I got a snag. Yeah. That's half. Fish. That's some of ours too. Good work, boys. Oh God. I freed from a snaggy. Snaggy waggy. Are you snag? Yeah. All right. Are you free? No. All right. Let some line out. I'll help you out. Yeah, you may lose that one, pet partner. At least I know my knot was tight. <laughs> you got that right. Yeah. All right. If you need a lure of doom, let me know. So it's uh, day two. We boated six fish, three of which are walleyes that uh, we're gonna test out the new live well that I still need to form up yet back at camp. Yeah, I hope, uh, hope you're enjoying this. We certainly are. It's a beautiful day. We got a mix of clouds and blue sky, sometimes really you know, fully overcast and sometimes just intermittent terrific sunshine on us. All right, fish him if you got him. That is a delicious looking morsel. How are we looking? Yeah, we're looking good. I almost don't want another northern. Yeah. As fun as they are. Right? There you go. There you go. All right, folks. This is an experiment. We're going to try to bushcraft a live live well for offshore for our wallies. So this is a replacement net for just a big fishing net. I'm hoping I got a big enough size. So, so far so good. So the spirit of this is get a nice ring like this all the way around in a deep pocket and I'll probably bushcraft a couple of cross sticks near the bottom to keep it open like that. And I'm gonna zip tie this thing around the perimeter. I won't have the whole perimeter so I might supplement it with a log sticking in those hollow ends or a stick, a bendable stick. So here it is in the water. It's not perfect. We caught three wallies. The other two are down in there. Swimming good. They'll survive. I don't know about this one here. We're going to play this out. This was the smallest one we caught. And the water's kind of warm. And I've already got new design ideas for this thing. I should probably get it in a little deeper water. I gotta figure out a way to do that. Yeah, so probably go with the double noodle on the top and uh, I think another noodle in the middle, down in the middle of the net to really open that up. Uh, and it's possible I don't, I'm just not deep enough yet because I put a cross beam at the bottom to spread the bottom of the net out. 
but uh, yeah. Look at how big that turtle is. I hope you're picking this up through the glare. He's turning around. thing that's marked on him. Hi people. So I wanted to talk through my grand experiment Excuse me while I get a fishing pole here. You saw that live well that I fashioned out of uh, pool noodle and some netting and some cool crossbars and some weights to sink it. It was working terrific like for the first, oh cripe, how long was that Nick? Five minutes? Yep. Five minutes, I was nailing it. So I had him down there, and as you saw, I, I felt bad about it, but one of the fishes was already kind of belly floating. And uh, believe me when I tell you, we don't take our fishing lightly. Uh, we really were making an attempt to save fish to have a decent dinner, and we're gonna do things differently. But I came to check it really about an hour and a half after I had set it up and I walked down there, and the first thing I saw was the dying fish was gone. And I thought, well, that's curious. I don't know how the heck it got out of there. And then I pulled it in. I had it uh, tied off. Um, so I kind of dragged it in. And as I was lifting it out of the water to check the status of the other two walleyes we had in there. One of the fish was halfway through the netting head first and he made a quick wiggle and he was gone. And I thought, all right, uh, big mistake on the size of the netting. And uh, so I kept lifting it up, figuring the last fish would be in there. It wasn't even in there. 
So, you probably just saw a video of what I'd like to call a pretty massive snapping turtle. I took it above the water and then I went in the water with the camera and I hope the video came out pretty good. But this thing is so big and I want to say so old, it's got moss growing off it. This is like grandpa snapping turtle. So we got to rethink how we save fish. Uh, and it'll be tough if you got a big group with only a couple fishing. It won't be tough if it's, uh, you know, just two, two fishermen. We can probably not even have to save fish. But uh, I think the snapping turtle had something to do with molesting the live well. Probably grabbed the dead one first and saw two more morsels in there. So, you know, you experiment with stuff. You learn a few lessons. And... Uh, you try again. All right, that's the update for now. We're back fishing, as you can see. And uh, I already hosed up a couple of videos of Nick catching fish, so I've profusely apologized to him. Um, so I'm gonna really double down on making sure we capture. Are we going shallow here, Nick? 12. Yeah, so uh, we'll make sure to to capture his uh, boating some fish. All right, folks, see you in a sec. Before. Please don't be a northern. It feels like a northern. Yeah, it's looking like it. Oh, brother, it's a northern. I haven't even seen it yet, and I can tell. Yeah. Guess it's a northern? Yep. You people watching this stuff? It does not. Oh, oh, oh. Does not want to come up. Yeah, it's probably the same one. He's Jesus tired. Christmas. Yeah, he's tired of coming up to the surface. That's not a northern. Get your net. No way. Dude, it's a freaking bass and a half. All right, if you bring it back here. Oh, oh that was... That's a good... That's a good move. Hold on, hold on. Hot around my line. Yep. All right, we'll figure it out. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no! Come it's on. all right. Get ourselves That's a little awesome. piggy there. That is a big small. <sighs> looks like a small mouth to me. Yeah, thumb in the bottom lip. That looks like a small mouth to me. We'll see. Maybe it's a big mouth. It's, I think it's a small, it's two. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh, that's a small mouth, dude. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a smallie. Nice fish. All right. You go ahead, take him off, let him go. We will, but there's one thing that we gotta know. Wait. <laughs> You're gonna weigh him. Of course. <laughs> He's chubby. That's a big fish. There we go. All right. Yeah, right underneath the gill. Yeah. Oh, dude, he's barely hooked. Barely hooked, huh? Just in little soft. Let her fall in the boat. We'll, unt we'll untangle it later.
Thanks, dude. This is a little fast motion right here. All right, don't move this time. Two point one. All right, get him in the water. Yep. Two point one. Thank you, Nicholas. Yep. All right, people, fish on. Rock bass. Our biggest rock bass so far. See that? This is how you have fun, people. Now you watch me run that hook right through my thumb. There she is, people. All right, let her go. Nicholas, what do you want to do? We either head up and come back again, or we head up along that the east shore. I say we try a new spot. Let's do it. Just wanted to show you. GoPro probably won't do it justice, but uh, maybe Sophie, if you zoomed in a little bit, that beautiful landscape. We're coming out of a narrow channel here behind us. And uh, it just looks cool as heck. So Nick caught an awesome rope line. That's the yellow line you see there. And on the line with it was a spare jig. He's going to try to pull it up and see if we got an anchor at the bottom of this thing just for giggles. I think what happened is it is an anchor, but it got stuck on rock, so they had to cut it. Let it sink. Oh, there it goes. You've got it? Yep. Jeez. It's a freaking rock. <laughs> it's a homemade anchor. Oh my gosh. Let's keep the rope. I'll, I'll put it in the garbage. Okay. And yeah, sink the rock. This is how we give back to society, people. Jeez. That's a well-tied rock, though. It is. See, other people had the idea to fish here. Loved it so much, they wanted to anchor. Their rock got stuck between two other rocks. They cut the line, called it a day. Who knows how long ago this has been, but we'll clean it up. All right, people. All right, fish on, people. There you go. Oh, he's making a run. Can we get a nice, nice little wally? Nah, northern, son of a mother. I got to try to save this. All right, stick with me, people. Yes! Kept the lure. 12 fish. All right, look at the lunker that Nick brought in. <laughs> the fish is as big as the jig. Nick was yelling, get the net, get the net. Said it 10 times. All right. 12 fish. 13. 13, all right. 13. Yeah, I'm way behind on count. It's pushing uh, 7 o'clock. We found Nick's sunglasses at a campsite that we checked out when we first came out. And we checked it out because I made a comment when we were leaving <laughs> that I saw in the water what looked like uh, a piece of his paddle. 
and you know we just kind of dismissed it it just looked odd to me it didn't look un, you know it didn't look like a natural piece of wood right just right inside the water from the shore and so later this afternoon Nick suggested maybe those were my sunglasses that I lost so we took a leisurely stroll back up to that campsite about a mile away from ours and Nick got out and he was walking the water and sure enough he found the sunglasses so we're heading back uh, we're heading back to camp I just thought I'd give you a little taste of just how nice it is right now where'd the, uh, where'd the blueberries go? Oh, they're in your backpack. Uh, Put them back in your backpack. So, uh, Josh in the blue, Leo in the white, just got back, but uh, they went on a massive hike to, to check out some peaks around this area. They found all sorts of stuff, uh, including what appears to be an old dump. Um, actually, not far from our campsite. And uh, they, on, on the near the tops of at least a couple of the hills they found massive quantities of blueberries they brought back a small amount they are delicious found some wild strawberries so they had a day while Nick and I were out fishing they're back in good shape uh, thanks largely to the orienteering skills of Josh back there who really <laughs> attempted to go compass map uh, I shouldn't say attempt, that's what he did. And then every one, once in a while they do a Venza double check. So, very cool. Yeah, they came walking out of the woods back to camp here like uh, two guys, uh, Lewis and Clark, for crying out loud. So, uh, Leo got a little schmutzy. I think he wrestled a bear or something. Um, <laughs> My face planted against a tree once. Yeah, and yeah, we're, we're hoping eye. we don't have to rub his legs for cramping up tonight. <laughs> And uh, so anyway, I thought I'd give you that little snippet. <laughs> Nick is uh, preparing his pot. Yep. And his meal tonight is classic spaghetti with meat sauce. Dang right. Love that one. Yeah. Love that one. That's why I got it. Uh, I'm going to show you his bushcrafted table. I'm going to come huh. around the tree here. He's got a stump. That he was able to uh, grab, yeah. and then he split these logs, tied them together, and give himself a flat surface. It's good enough. And uh, yeah, that's his routine there. This is how we roll on the Boundary Waters trips. Over here, we got Josh and Leo setting up. They got the MSR burner, which is like a little nuclear power plant. <laughs> um, and our meals tonight are beef stew and beef stroganoff with noodles. I've had the beef stroganoff with noodles. And I like that too. I haven't had the beef stew yet. And so, this is uh, this is what we got. This is night two. Tonight is all rehydrating, boiling up, having bars and what have you. And I'm gonna fix up. Oh, that was uh, a special animal in the woods here. Spicy oh. sausage pasta by Alpine Air. And notice the little piggy on the front, it says pork. So uh, that was important to note there. And you notice we got all our little uh, hacked uh, tables being used. So I'm going to start my meal right here. Talk to you in a bit. All right. Captain's I need a log. Light. <laughs> yeah, there's a little lag. I don't like the latch. <laughs> Candle melts. Look at that freaking torch, Dang. man. Now hurry up. I don't want wax in my cookie. <laughs> <laughs> That's the birthday wishes I was hoping for. <clears throat> Let me do an intro here. <sighs> Hi, people. Uh, special occasion tonight. It's my birthday. Tammy made us cookies. 
with candles to celebrate. I'd like you all to participate in singing me happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rainy. Happy birthday to you. Thanks, sweetheart. All right, thanks, fellas. There you go. That was awesome. No wax in the cookie. We're good. No. Nope. Yeah, it came dripping, close. But yeah. 56. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs>
we're gonna hit the sack. We'll see you in the morning. Probably the same routine tomorrow. And I expect a perfect night. You buy that, Nick? I like it. All right. Good night, family. Morning. Day three. Six forty-five. We may go after rock bass today and try eating them. We'll see. This is Saturday morning. It's about seven o'clock. I'm thinking today is a swimming day. Yeah. Yeah, I seriously, I, I'm I, I'm gonna take a dip at some point at least. All right, people, we hit the water, and it wasn't 30 seconds after Nick dropped in the line that he got uh, our first fish. Stringer it up, Nick, and we may be eating rock bass tonight. It'd be fun to try. There we go. All right, good work. They do have a good amount of muscle to them. Yep, I, I think there's gonna be good flesh on them. Yeah. It's a small one, people, but we're going to bring her home. That's a too small a little perch. Little bass. Bass. Little bobby. There's a little bobby. And I'll recover bait, which is always a goal. There you are, folks. Little bobby bass. We'll let him go over here. There he goes. His eyes were too big for his stomach. That's what I'm saying. Lord. All right, fish on, people. A little wallage this time. Nicholas, we're going to stringer that one. Yeah. Might as well have um, 
We'll have a mixed bag. Nick, yeah. There you are, folks. It's not big, but it'll eat. Fish on, people. Feels like a wallage. Feels classic wallage. Nothing big, not trying to brag, and sure enough. So you don't eat the net? That is correct. Dudes on, people. Let's string her that sucker. You stay with it and get it over the boat. No fancy schmancy. Nice. You got a, You got yourself a nice fish. Boat. I got two. What? I had oh, two. Nick. There's a pike that just yes. got it. Yes. Dude. I saw him. Yeah. Oh, what a heartbreaker. God, it was a nice fish. Whatever I had. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. It looked long. So you got out of a snag. I think that I think I got a fish. It went down. Went past snagged the rock, itself, yeah. And then something saw it and decided that was free meal. Dude. That's your Let's fish. Go. Let's go. Let's go. God, I love your attitude. All right, we think we can recover the fish. No Look at the way. eagle! No! Oh my god. I think I got her. Oh yeah. Well, it was a walleye. This is insane. This is America. Oh my god. I think we can recover the fish. Look at the eagle! No! All right, people, we switched uh, gear. Went to the bottom bouncers because we've got some decent wind here. And we got fish on. You'll see her here momentarily. Maybe if I don't screw this up. That's a nice wally. All right, let's get that in the boat first. We'll stringer that up. Okay. All right, I've got to go with the hemostat. Stat! See how I made a kind of a joke there? Look at that! Another Wally. Yep. Get her in the hole. Here, just... Get in the moat first, then we worry about the rest. Your fish, that is. I know, All right. but it's untied. What's untied? I had oh. this ready for you. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, it's uh, just the way it's going to work right now. Yeah, I'm going to set this, this here. This is a good struggle to have. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Since he's already on, there you go. Excellent, excellent work. These are all nice little ears. We're cooking. We're cooking today, and it'll be uh, it'll be lunchtime meal. Yep. I'd be lying if I said this. This wind with the rollers doesn't give me a little fright. All right. But that's I don't good. think they're big enough. I don't think they're big enough to worry about. Okay. I'm gonna keep the. I'm gonna keep this for now. Yeah, I'm good with that. Snapping turtle. All right, people, we're on. <laughs> well, then it's a, it's a 
it's uh, very action oriented. I got too low a drag. Let me tighten that up a little. We got we we got a northern. Yeah. We may have a northern here, people. Let me just align this camera because it's all about the cinematography. Am I right? This one doesn't want to come up. That's Northern City. Yeah. This will be fun. I got a light rod, not quite ultra light. I've got half pound test line on here. Not really. That was a little weird. <laughs> that was a little weird. Oh, well, this will be a fun catch. Plenty of distance from shore. Look. I think I'll tighten just a skosh more. I think I can handle the ponage. <laughs> a little bit more. Watch me snap this sucker, Nick. This is the same six pound of my other line. Hope I got enough line. All right, we're, we're coming in a little bit. This will be fun here. be a fun picture. Do the best we can. Nick, if you want to roll backwards, I'm going to tighten her up again. Light line, decent drag. Uh, no, get your rear wave down. Get that, that way. That's looking good. Here it comes. Next. What is that? That looks like a walleye. What is that? Isn't a small mall. Really? Dude, I'll need net. Yep. Right. And look where my swivel went. Up on the weight. Right. I, I want to make sure you people get a look at this thing. As best as we can, we're kind of into the sun here. Look at that. Or it's a rough fish. It could be a rough fish. Get a picture, Let's weigh it up, and get her in the water. Yeah. I don't want to kill this thing. Yep. I, got some. I don't even know how the hell you're going to get it out of there. I don't want to wreck your net either. No, oh, it's all good. If you got to cut line, cut line. Take a knife out and cut the line and give yourself room. If Is the thing way in? Yeah. Cut the line. No, I got it. You got her? Yep. You got a plier? You just, yeah. This I, is definitely bigger than your last one. Oh my gosh. My arms are tired. <laughs> Dude, look at that thing. My gosh. Right. Don't fight. 
Yeah, that's a smallie. That is sick. That's gonna go. That's gonna go four pounds. Yeah. Yeah, throw yeah. over the side. That's lost right. Everything else, but that's okay. That's good work. That's good work, soldier. Much, much obliged. Three eighty five. Get her in the water. Give me one more sec. Yep, we're going with that. Yeah, that's good enough. Three eighty five. Put her gently. Yeah. Hold on to the mouth for a bit. Let water get through the gills. Put her under. That's right. How's she she's, doing? She's swimming. Yes. Great work. That was such a heavy weight. Yeah. Or I caught. Something under there? Yeah. Nope. All right, people, we're fish on, and this is another instance where we grab the fish and it gets snagged because it's coincidentally near some rocks. This is a small one. Rock bass. We're going to stringer it. And then we're done. You, yeah. you okay with I, done? I'm totally okay with that. And that's all she wrote, people. We're gonna go in, cut up some fish, make a shore lunch. That was a good day. Let's show you the stringer. That's what she looks like. A little mix of rock bass. Some wallies. Don't get better than that. Hi folks, we're going to cook up our fish, here's all the fillets right there, won't be a big meal but uh, at least we had a meal. We're hungry. Yeah. Yeah, this won't be quite level. All right, we're ready here. Start with the small one. Nice. Nice. That's, that's nice. Oh, nice. I think this is rock bass here. Okay. Well, it reduced. Reduced down. So it's our jerks. What the hell? We could go grab one. All right, people. I got the inaugural piece of fish right here. Hells yeah. <laughs> Hells yeah. That's good. That's good. After you, Nick, you, oh. uh, you caught the fish. Here, now you guys do go ahead. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> this is full. I'm gonna. I, I think that's the rock. I, I had to try the rock bass. Look at how nice and white that is. That's definitely the rock yeah. bass. I'm pretty sure. So you're thinking this is rock bass? Yeah. That, uh, that's the other mm. side of it. Yep. That's delicious. Ooh, that rock bass is good. It's all right. Yeah. Wow. Tastes like fish. No, yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, like fish. Tastes like chicken. I'm not going to poo-poo the rock bass ever again. Good. Very 
Very cool. There may be bones, but I haven't hit one yet. No. You? No. Nope, no. I'm also not. You just feel around with your tongues. You don't jab your. <laughs> jab. I just swallow in a hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this was fun. We're over what? 21, 22 fish total. Yeah. Nice. Boated. Lost a few. I'm trying to think when I stopped counting <laughs> at the 21. Remember the words, lost a few, yep. when we show you the video. Oh my gosh, that's right. Forget about the fish. That was, it was pretty cool. <laughs> there are people who have fished their whole lives who will not have the sequence of events no. that he had. No. We're going to play it for you. All right, we're going to give the camera a break. You saw it. We're all happy. Day three, lunch is done. It's siesta time. It is. Real Look wild. at this setup. It don't get nicer than It's got a good oh. breeze, no bugs on them. Yeah. Pretty nice. That's sweet action. Josh kicking back for siesta time. I gotta take you back to the privy. I always gotta show my audience the privy. So, as you would expect, it's uh, back into the woods, basically directly behind us. First, I'm gonna showcase little brother Leo. All right, we're going to follow this path here. This place is just thick with two foot diameter firs, spruce, whatever. I don't know all my conifers. I'm going back here with no shirt on. I just uh, took my dip, so I'll probably get eaten alive sacrificing myself for you the viewer to show you the beautiful throne that we have We've got a tree partially blocking the path and we did nothing to help that uh, there you see it coming up this is just a wonderful spot here very comfortable very secluded it's either 31 or number 37. I'll let you, the viewer, decide how to interpret that. Very nice. All right. Now you saw it. I'll give you a break. It's our last night. It's afternoon, about four o'clock. We're heading out to do our last bit of fishing. Tonight is all catch and release. 
we're basically going back to honey hole number one again. You know, when something works, you gotta stick with it. Fish on, people. This is a respectable fish. It's no huge bass, but it's respectable. Respectable. Gosh. Wallage. Nicholas. Easy enough. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah, good hook set. Perfect hook set. Just like you planned it. Exactly how I planned it. I'm gonna hook him right there. You're not having another fish dinner, I'm just telling you right now. Oh. I was telling the other boat. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's his turn to go. Good work, soldier. Yeah, I'll need a, another minnow. Okay. Or not a minnow. I'm with you. I'm with you. I know what you're. I know what you're laying down. Here she comes. Look at that. That's pretty sweet, huh? say 12 13 inches and he's good he's good Thank nice you. wally nice wally nicholas that is a nice one Over the gills. Just like that. All right, never mind. Do it the way you want. No. R. All right. Dude, it's lying. Did you catch my rod? It's lying. It's brave. Feels like you're thin brain. Dude, this. Yeah, I didn't want to dive out of the canoe for the rod and yeah. reel. No. Can you imagine? That's got to have happened. Someone in a canoe. Drops it overboard, then leans way over. Oh yeah, to go get it. And freaking dumps them both. 100%. I think we caught all the fish in this lake. <laughs> They're gone. 
That would be a sad state of affairs. All right, people. This is uh, our last night here, and consequently, the last supper. <laughs> I don't want to be nice foreshadowing. too much foreshadowing <laughs> here. <laughs> But if you trust that meal, you go ahead. <laughs> what time we got? About 8.40. Yeah. yeah. 840. We have a lot of wood to get through. 8.49. Got that right. If you like, got Nick, those big you go ahead, torch it. Josh, you want to do the honors? Oh, oh man, I don't know, man. That's, yeah. just, that's your thing. No, it can be your thing. No pressure. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like pressure. If it doesn't work, it's not on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What'd you do to it? <laughs> Who's peeing on the fire? Oh. Man has always sought fire <laughs> from the early days. What Nova episode is he <laughs> reciting now? <laughs> Are they yeah. just swarming? Yeah. Yeah, no. yeah, me too. Good. Good. I feel better. Yeah. You can just hear them buzzing that by. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. It's good to go deaf. <laughs> Can't hear shit. I see them. Don't hear them. Does it make you easier oh, to go sleep? Oh, there's a mouse. Josh. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, there he is. Where's he at? The Under mouse. Rainy now. The mouse is back? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, there he not, goes. There he goes. That thing is not moving. Oh my fast. God! <laughs> Please get that on film. Ooh. He's over there. I'm gonna back up and get my feet off He's the ground. Under. I don't want that thing crawling up my pants. Oh yeah. Um, and <laughs> be good footage for Tammy though. Yeah. Yes. We found you a little friend, Tammy. Woman, we got a mouse running around our legs here. <laughs> if we see it again, we'll try to get it on video. We'll try to club it. That's better. Last night, yeah. just got done with our fire, BSing around. You might hear my little brother in the background. <laughs> that was him. Not a strange animal. All right, forecast for tonight, possible rain around 11 or midnight. Shouldn't last long, so we should be getting up to decent conditions. Hopefully there's no rain at all, so we don't have a wet tent. But, you know the drill. Won't bother me with a wet tent. That's great, Nick. Yep. Just thought I'd let you know. Thank you. All right, so that's the support we have here. We're going to sign off. We'll see you in the morning, and... Uh, Probably break, camp, push at 9 o'clock. All right, see you in the morning. Look at the overachievers. I don't have mine down yet.
can't believe you started no recording. Boys. Recording just went off the way. I know, right? What, uh, oh, I'm just. I need a lighter. I can find my matches pretty quick, too. Find my matches faster. Alright people, we're taking off. There was threats of rain last night, and we did see some lightning. There was threats of rain this morning for 7 or 8 o'clock. Right now we're 7.40. And while it could still happen, this, we're coming into clouds. We're on the water, so right now it really doesn't matter. Rigged up for events and maps and all that kind of oh, yeah. stuff. Yep, I got Portage. This is a princess portage. You're not going to 
to see it on the GoPro, but looking way far ahead, I see one, two, three, four, not including uh, my little brother. Five, six. So, uh, apparently coming out on a Sunday is uh, de rigueur. These guys are wondering why I'm talking to myself. <laughs> hey people, today is Sunday, July 31st. This ends another episode of the True North Losers hitting the Boundary Waters. It is uh, roughly quarter to noon. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, especially Nick feeding the eagle. Uh, we want to thank our special guest, my brother Leo, over here in the white. Josh's boy and my partner Nick on this thing right back there. Hey, we'll see you again uh, hopefully soon. Hope you enjoy it.